all the actions you are about to see are 100% real and accurate and happened last night and this morning. Step one, find your phone and then proceed to put it away because you're probably still drunk texting and no one wants that. Nope, not any better at 7 a.m. Step two, identify your location and who's sleeping next to you. Step three, are you clothed? Maybe you just want to get changed into something else. Maybe you just want to get comfortable. It's okay, you had a rough night. You deserve to be comfortable. Step four, water. Hydration is key in surviving this night, so you better get a water bottle and chug that now. For real. But actually. Step five, what happened last night? This you can go about a few different ways. My favorite is to look at my Snapchat, my Snap story, the people whose Snap stories I was with. Call log, text log, <laughs> FaceTime log, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Get on PC your night together without that cell phone. Step six. Wander to the kitchen and realize that you've consumed way more than your average calorie count for the day. The drug eating doesn't count, right? Nah, that's cool. Nah, it turned out for what? And a tip, just so you know, bring a snack with you to bed because maybe in the morning <laughs> you can't make it to the kitchen and you just gotta eat it there. It happened. And finally, step seven. Call your mom. Hi, mom. And tell her that you love her. I love you. And that you're sorry. She'll know what you mean. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my head. I think you need to go back to bed. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Why do I look so good when I wake up the next morning? <laughs>